It is now 6.30 p.m. And so the uh, February 7th special meeting of the Evanston City Council shall come to order. Uh, will the clerk please call the roll? Aye, Council Member Braithwaite. Council Member Wynn. Here. Council Member Newsma. Here. Council Member Burns. Council Member Sufferton? Here. Council Member Ravel? Here. Council Member Reed? Here. Council Member Fleming? Here. Council Member Kelly? Here. Uh, thank you. We have a quorum present and are therefore able to do our work. Um, and we begin uh, by recognizing Council Member Newsma for a motion. Uh, pursuant to five Illinois compiled statutes, 120-2A, I move that the City Council convene into executive session to discuss an agenda item regarding personnel. Uh, this agenda item is uh, a permitted subject to be considered in executive session and is an enumerated exception under the Open Meetings Act as set forth in 5 ILCS 120-2A, Section C1. Is there a second? Second. Uh, I, I do just wonder if we want to dispatch of uh, public comment before we go into executive session. I do see at least one person here. Oh. Um, well, the so just quickly glancing at the list, not everyone who signed up for public comment um, is in the Zoom right now, which I think makes sense because the agenda had it listed in the other order. So I think out of okay. Fairness to them, let's let's stick with the order of the agenda. But for, for anyone in the public watching right now, uh, presuming this motion passes, we'll go into executive session and then return to this same open session Zoom link for those who wish to give public comment. Uh, so Council Member Newsman moves that we uh, move into executive session. Council Member Reed seconds. Uh, is there any discussion? Uh, seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? You're muted. Thank you so much. The word of the year. Uh, <laughs> Council Member Braithwaite. Oh, okay, Council Member Wynn. Uh, yes. Council Member Newsma. Hi. Um, is Council Member Burns here yet? Yep, bye. Okay. Council Member Sufferton. Aye. Council Member Ravel. Aye. Council Member Reed? Aye. Council Member Fleming? Aye. And Council Member Kelly? Oh, sorry, aye. Uh, with, uh, I believe, eight voting in favor and none voting against, the motion passes. We move to executive session. So um, for uh, the relevant uh, individuals, there's a, you have a separate link to go into executive session. For everyone else, we'll return uh, to this link uh, at the conclusion of that discussion for both public comment and um, and uh, call of the wards. Uh, see everybody uh, momentarily. So at 8.29 p.m. we return to the um, right the ordinary open set portion of our special council meeting. Uh, just as a note to the public, in order to give those who seek to give public comment time to become aware that we've returned from executive session, we're going to uh, invert the agenda and move directly to call of awards, after which we'll go to public comment. Um, and so we begin with call of awards, uh, beginning with Council Member Braithwaite. Council Member Wynn? No report, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Newsom. Office hours this Saturday, 10 to noon at, uh, I believe it's Reprise Roasters. Council Member Burn. No report. Council Member Sufferton. Nope. Um, there. Uh, Council Member Ravel. Uh, just <laughs> announcing that I'm going to be having a seventh ward meeting uh, Wednesday, 
February 16th at 7 p.m. Um, encourage everybody to attend. Council Member Reed. I feel almost obligated to talk just to create time for folks to the public to get back. Do we have anyone? Uh, I, I guess I'll. Uh, Announce uh, our monthly ward meeting on the last Thursday. Uh, we've got a Google Meet link. It should be up on the calendar now. Yeah, I think that's uh, all I have to uh, announce. Council Member Kelly. Um, I want to thank all the residents, so many who came out last week to participate in the community meeting about the proposed development at 1621 Chicago Avenue it was really wonderful to have that um, here, have those voices and participation. In. And I'd also like to encourage everybody to also join us this Thursday for another community meeting regarding the Link 2.0 um, at Emerson and Sherman this Thursday at seven o'clock. And the link for that can be found on the city website. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this concludes. Uh our call of the wards. We now move to public comment. The individuals requesting to give public comment are Nicole Dillon, Mary Rosinski, Mike Vasilko, and Doreen Price. I will begin uh, with uh, Ms. Price, who's the first person present. Uh, go ahead, Ms. Price. Doreen, are you able to hear me? Sure, if uh, Ms. Price is. Yes, there sorry. Is. Oh, I'm sorry, there you are. <laughs> Unmuted. Uh, okay, um, this had to do with what was proposed to be spoke, uh, uh, to be discussed, um, but is uh, forwarded to the next meeting from Human Services. And it's the part with regard to looking at appropriations of, of, um, of funds um, to help people in crises and in emergencies and actually increasing the amount because the cost of living of Evanston is higher than what the tables are current with. Uh, I thought that initiative was amazing um, and and not seeing, at least uh, I haven't seen like that in terms of taking the initiative and saying, forget the tables, they don't really reflect our expenses here. So with that in mind, um, I, <clears throat> I said that with regard to how general assistance is addressing Evanston's real cost of living, that likewise updating the city of Evanston equity and ARPA initiatives for real costs now. And obviously the future would be much higher, which kind of indicates that what we do now is, is truly important. Um, um, and shows why aging in place, in other words, getting people um, uh, stabilized in their homes, um, which you hear um, <clears throat> Bobby Burns, council member Burns talk about as well, staying in place or something like that, that that, that kind of initiative shows why aging in place saves lives, homes, and community assets. So thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I just want to reiterate the other people uh, who signed up to give public comment are Nicole Dillon, Mary Rosinski, and Mike Basilko. Um, I don't see any of the three of those in the Zoom, but just once more, uh, Nicole Dillon, Mary Rosinski, Mike Basilko. Um, Seeing, um, seeing that uh, no one uh, currently present has requested to give public comment. Uh, there's no more business to come before us and the uh, February 7th special meeting of the Evans City Council stands adjourned. Thanks everybody. <laughs>